Pick up your host one more time, guys. Let me hear one more time for the host. Yeah, okay. It's cool. Good to be here, gang. This is cool. Saturday night. We're out. This is sweet. I uh, I just want to start off by saying I'm not just a comedian, guys. I'm not just a comedian. Uh, I'm also a full-time stay-at-home son. And your losers here, okay? Just me. Live at home with mommy and daddy, which is nice. And uh, listen, you know you're the loser in your family when your mom describes you with adjectives rather than nouns. Okay. Like when my mom talks about my brother, she'll be like, oh, he's a pilot. He's an entrepreneur. And then they're like, Luca, he's creative. He's creative. Uh, <laughs> he's a bitch. I don't know what she says about me, gang. It's cool. It's cool to be out, dude. My family's very Italian, if you can't tell. My dad's the kind of guy who doesn't speak Italian, just pronounces Italian words with an accent. It makes me like this. Like my dad at a restaurant, he'll be like, you know what, let me get a bottle of water, let me get some wine in order of the uh, calamari. And you're like, what the fuck is that, is there a seizure? We're the only white people that do that, do you understand? <laughs> okay. Like there's no German guy walking around right now going, yeah, my car, it's a 2011 Volkswagen, okay. It's a Volkswagen car. <laughs> Not doing that shit. <laughs> my parents, they only believe in my comedy career like 50% of the time, you know? But when my mom does believe in me, she's all in, you know? My mom, she'll be, she'll like, one day she'll wake up. She's like, Luke, I just had a vision last night. God came to me. He said, you're gonna be famous. I see your name in lights one day. And then like the next day, she'll be like, did you see Amazon is hiring? I'm like, what the fuck happened to the... God changes mine. My mom's uh, very superstitious, but she's Italian, so she has weird superstitions. Uh, for example, she thinks that uh, little people are good luck. <laughs> little people. I was at the airport, my mom, not too long ago, and a little person walked by, and out loud in the airport, my mom goes, oh, I gotta go touch him. No, you don't. Okay, leave that. <laughs> person walked. And she'll do it too, I swear to God, you guys. Anytime my mom sees a little person, she'll touch them and she'll pretend like it's an accident, you know? She'll show up, she'll be like, ooh, sorry, sir. And then she's like, we got him. We got him. <laughs> so, let's go buy lottery tickets. And listen, that could be offensive, you know? Like, I went to college with a guy who was a little person and I saw him in a bar the other day and uh, I told him about my joke, told him about my mom and he was like, dude, that's, that's funny, he laughed. But he's like, dude, if that's serious, you should tell your mom not to do that, you know, like I'm a human being, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we ended up having a good night though. We had a couple drinks, uh, laughed, you know, we ended up talking to some girls. I met this one really pretty girl and uh, I bought her a drink, we ended up talking and I uh, ended up taking her back to my parents' house and, uh, <laughs> and we made love. And, uh, and I'll be honest with you gang, the whole time I'm having sex with this girl in my head, I'm going, my mom was right, these guys are good luck. Okay, these guys, <laughs> okay. I'm bringing that guy on every first date I go on, okay? I'm like, hey, what's going on? This is Steven, he's my pocket pussy magnet. <laughs> <laughs> my family's not very politically correct. Uh, like my dad, he still calls things gay that isn't gay, you know? Like he thinks uh, White Claw, gay. Uh, <laughs> EDM music, gay, okay. Uh, me, gay. Uh, <laughs> But sometimes it doesn't make any sense. Like the other day my dad told me that he thought wallets were gay. I'm like, dad, how are wallets gay? And he was like, oh, geez Louise, I gotta get my money out of my little wallet. <laughs> and I'm like, I think anything's gay if you say geez Louise before, don't you? And, <laughs> and the problem I have with him is he doesn't realize the shit that he does that's gay, my dad, okay? Like with all the stuff going on in Chicago, he's been carrying a gun, but he carries a gun in a fanny pack. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, Dad, you can't walk around armed and dangerous. Like, you can't do both, okay? I don't know if he's going to war or a bachelorette party. I have no idea, this guy. He's funny, my dad. My dad, he's a retired, retired firefighter, my dad. And he's trying to stay healthy, which is good, you know? He's uh, trying to cut back on eating meat. Uh, he's trying to exercise more. Uh, gets out of hand, though. Uh, my dad just saw a news article the other, the other day that, uh, that said if you take Viagra once a day, lowers your risk of Alzheimer's disease. Okay, try it, brother, I don't know. And, uh, no, but now my dad's just walking around horny and remembering shit, okay? <laughs> He's coming in every room, just like, remember that time we were in Puerto Rico? <laughs> remember that time we were in Cabo City? I'm like, put the meat away, daddy, that we were doing meat. 
like spending time with my mom. She's cool. Uh, she loves uh, 90 Day Fiance. I fucking hate that show, dude. I hate this show. No, listen. I f listen. I hate that show. It's all these ugly Americans trying to bang this third world Euro trash. Okay, it's sickening. Okay, I feel sorry for every foreigner on this show because all they want to do is come to America and live the American dream, but they got to pretend to be in love with this ugly troll to get there, okay? And you can tell by the interviews, you know? They'll be like, why do you love Mark? Oh, I love Mark because he's a good guy and uh, he has good smile. Just once, show me the real interview, you know? Like, why do you love Mark? Why? Because my country fucking sucks, okay? Because his semen is cleaner than my drinking water, okay? You think I want to be in Bosnia? To be in Bosnia? My mom and my grandma, they fucking love this show, okay? Which I think is so ironic because my grandmother grew up in Italy, okay? When she was 18 years old, she met my grandfather, US soldier, okay? They fell in love, he brought her to America. She didn't speak English, didn't know the language, okay? But she worked three jobs, raised five kids, all in the pursuit of the American dream. Okay, and after she will, goes through all this hardship and all this tribulation, she sits there and watches 90 Day Fiance and goes, oh, these people are fucking crazy. I'm like, you did the same shit. <laughs> and I've seen pictures of my grandfather, okay? Never met him, but he was not a good looking guy, okay? <laughs> if you go back in time and ask my grandmother, why do you love this man? She'd probably go, oh, well, he is a good guy and uh, <laughs> very smart guy. <laughs> They would be living the worst. Like, my, you know, my dad comes from a hardcore generation. You know, like, I'm a millennial. They say we're the worst, you know? I, uh, millennials, you know what we're really good at? We're really good at rebranding our failure, you know? Like, I got a buddy of mine. I'll be like, hey, man, are you homeless? He'll be like, nah, dog, nah. Living that van life, dude, I'm living that. And you're like, are you a drug addict? He's like, nah, dude, nah, I'm uh, microdosing mushrooms. You're like, okay. And you're like, did you just blow a guy behind that dumpster? He's like, bro, my money's tied up in crypto, all right? I got. <laughs> People my age, they don't want to grow up, you know? Like, I, uh, I don't either, you know? Like, I really want Disney Plus, but I think I've disappointed my father enough, okay? <laughs> That's the last thing he needs, is come downstairs and see me watching Winnie the Pooh, you know? <laughs> it's like, hey, Dad, I'm Luca Fernando, you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> he doesn't need that shit. <laughs> People my age, they go to Disney World, no kids, okay? Disney World with no kids. I'd like to get a job at Disney World just to fuck with those people. Okay, I'll be Mickey, I don't give a shit, you know? Anytime I see a millennial, I'll be like, hey, get a job, you fucking pussy! Like, I get in there. <laughs> you still think that you're a pussy? <laughs> I don't know. We drinking tonight? Saturday night, we're drinking, this is cool. Yeah, make some noise, drinking, yeah, all right. Tip your weight, Steph. I'm an alcoholic. I, uh... <laughs> I love a good drinking game, gang. You know, I love a good drinking game. You know, like, uh, you guys know that drinking game? You gotta roll the dice. You know what that was called? Where you roll the dice? What is it? Drinking and driving. That's my favorite drinking game. I love that one. I love those billboards where it's like, you drink, you drive, you lose. It's like, actually, I'm undefeated, Jack. Okay, nobody's caught me yet. It's a joke, guys. Don't drink and drive. Take an Uber, guys. Take an Uber, okay? Sometimes I'm too drunk for the Uber, though, you know? I got kicked out of an Uber the other day. My driver, he was Middle Eastern. I love those guys, because when they're mad, they're still respectful, right? He was like, buddy, please get out of my car, okay? You were my friend, but you are a bitch, okay? You need to leave. God bless you, but fuck you. You have to go out. You've been so drunk, you get an Uber that's not for you? You ever do that? When I'm drunk, I talk to Uber drivers like an old prostitute. Because I get in the car, and they're like, hey, man, are you Steven? And I go, Honey, tonight I'll be whoever you want me to be. I just hang you somewhere. Huh? Where's my weed smokers in here? Weed smokers? Yeah, okay. I like to smoke pot, but I'll be honest with you guys. I think uh, I think we made a mistake. I think we made we got to make pot illegal again. I think we're done with that. I uh, I think we're living in a backwards world. You know, I went to the dispensary the other day uh, to get some weed. I've never received better customer service in my entire life. Okay. You go in there, they're like, hi, how are you? What are you looking for? Can I recommend something? So welcoming, okay? On the way back, I stopped at McDonald's. The guy in the drive-thru was like, what you looking for, my man? I'm like, why does this feel more like a drug deal than the actual drug deal, are you scared? <laughs> okay, everybody's fucking high now, okay? I went to Target, I'm like, hey man, you know where the milk is? <laughs> what? That's how they talk to you, okay? 
I think we got it wrong, okay? I think we should make weed illegal, cocaine legal. I think that's how we should do it, guys, okay? Right. I, I don't care about the social anxiety that weed helps you with, what it does for your medical benefits, okay? I just think shit would get done quicker if all potheads were cokeheads, you know what I mean? Go to Target one more time. Hey man, you know where the, you know where the milk is? Yeah, milk right this way, buddy, right over here. What a cow gives you a fucking cow. All right guys, my name's Louis Gaffaro. God bless you, have a great evening.